tuberculosis. It's a dangerous disease. It's a dangerous condition. That's why we choose it as a topic today. In our previous video, we talked about management and treatment of prostatitis. So today, we're talking about tuberculosis, infectious disease. Tuberculosis is a contagious bacterial infectious disease that attacks usually the lungs and other parts of the body. It doesn't attack the lungs only. It can also attack other parts of the body. Now, this tuberculosis has types. What are the types of this tuberculosis? Number one type of this tuberculosis is pulmonary tuberculosis. In pulmonary tuberculosis, it attacks the lungs. Another type of tuberculosis is pleure, pleure tuberculosis. Pleure tuberculosis attack the pleure of the visceral, within the visceral cavity and the pleural cavity. That is where it attacks. The pleure is the film-like structure that is like waterproof that covers the visceral, that is the lungs or the organ. In between this pleura and the viscera, that is the organ, is a fluid existing in between them. Then when this tuberculosis attacks this uh, 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 pleura and the, and the fluid that, are, that protects or lubricates the viscera and the pleura, then it will mount pressure on the organ, thereby causing other disease conditions. Another one is skeletal tuberculosis. Skeletal tuberculosis attacks the bone, especially the vertebrae, like the spine bone. Another type of tuberculosis is brain tuberculosis, which inflames the meninges. The meninges is a structure, a brain, a, one of the structures of the brain. It's called meninges. When the tuberculosis attacks it, it inflames it. So we call it tuberculosis meninges. Another one is bladder kidney tuberculosis. Another name for it is urogenital uh, tuberculosis. Urogenital tuberculosis. That's another name for bladder kidney tuberculosis. Another one is joint tuberculosis. Joint tuberculosis is also known as tuberculosis of the osteomyelitis and osteoarthritis. Yes, because when tuberculosis attacks the joint, it can lead into osteomyelitis and osteoarthritis. That is infections there, thereby eating the bacteria eating up the joint cartilages and tendons. So arthritis and the uh, osteomyelitis becomes inevitable. Another one is gastrointestinal tuberculosis. Gastrointestinal tuberculosis is a type of tuberculosis that attacks the digestive tract from the oesophagus down to the colon. In the process of this attack, there can be a manifestation or a process of other disease conditions coming up. Things like colon, ulcer of the colon, colon disease, and other metabolic conditions within the tract. Then the next one is miliary tuberculosis. Miliary tuberculosis is another type of tuberculosis that can attack or affect any part of the organ because it has a millet structure, a millet shape that is like granulo granuloma. It's like a granuloma. Granuloma is a cluster of red blood cells with other tissues inside them. When you see it, it's a cluster of small, small balls. You see it's like small, small balls with fluid inside them. So it can affect any other parts of the body. So in our subsequent video, we are going to discuss the causes, the reasons of these uh, types of uh, tuberculosis, one after the other. Unfortunately enough, we have to be aware that this tuberculosis is a prevalent disease that ravages our societies presently. Though almost 80 something percent of the people have tuberculosis, but most of them, most of the carriers, their symptoms is latent. It is latent in their system. Yes. It is latent that it is asymptomatic. A lot of carriers of tuberculosis does not show symptoms yet. Then the ones that show symptoms are the ones that you see and you know that uh, this person is a carrier of tuberculosis. So we are going to talk about how it affects, how it spreads the signs and symptoms and all the rest of them. So please share this video. Watch it and share it. Hit the like button. Comment on the comment section. Follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you as you do, because in our subsequent video, we are going to bring you about the signs and symptoms of one of the types of tuberculosis, one after the other. Thank you so much as you share.